We're entering the last week of the 2022 Nippon Professional Baseball regular season, so let's talk about some important storylines and narratives to follow down the final stretch of the season and into the playoffs. We'll start with the most obvious one here, Munetaka Murakami. Murakami hit his 54th and 55th home runs of the season on September 13th to tie Sadaharu O's all-time single season record for a Japanese-born player. However, he has fallen into a bit of a slump and hasn't hit a home run in 8 games. So with just 7 games remaining in the regular season, and his Yakult Swallows about to clinch the pennant, the only question now is whether or not Murakami can continue to make history. He's one home run away from breaking the record for a Japanese born player, he's two home runs from breaking the all Asian record set by Lee Sung Yup in the KBO, and he's six homers away from breaking former teammate Vladimir Ballantin's all time MPB record set back in 2013. The 60 mark is beginning to look a little bit out of reach, but when Murakami hits bombs, he tends to hit them in batches with 12 multi homer games this year, so don't count him out quite yet. And beyond the home run record, there are other major achievements for Murakami to keep an eye on as well. He currently leads all three Triple Crown categories, but Yohei Oshima is creeping up on him for batting average, as Murakami is sitting at 325 and Oshima at 320. Can Murakami fend him off and secure the Triple Crown? It's a feat that hasn't been done in MPB since Nobuhiko Matsunaka in 2004, and all the way back to 1986 by Randy Bass in the Central League. And then, last but not least, can he finish with an isolated power over 400 and a weighted on base average over 500? At the moment, his ISO is 404 and his WOBA is 503. Only three players in MPB history, Vladimir Valentin, Sadaharu O, and Alex Cabrera, have ever posted a 400 plus ISO in a season, and only Valentin, O, and Makoto Kozuru have posted a 500 plus WOBA in a season. Will Murakami join this elite club? And if you're going to watch the best hitter in Japan, why not watch the best pitcher in Japan as well? Yoshinobu Yamamoto is on track to win back-to-back -back pitching triple crowns, as he has 15 wins with a 1.65 ERA and 195 strikeouts and 186 innings. He needs just 5 more punchouts in his final start of the year, which will probably be against the Rakuten Eagles to achieve back-to-back -back 200k seasons. Anytime Yamamoto takes the mound, he just displays a masterclass in pitching, so you definitely don't want to miss it, especially when the Buffalo season may be on the line. Which takes me to the next thing to watch for, which is the pennant races in both the Central and Pacific Leagues. Now the Swallows' magic number is down to 2, so they should clinch the regular season pennant any day now, and the Bay Stars have already clinched the playoff berth, but the rest of the CL playoff picture is still up in the air. The Omiri Giants, Hunching Tigers, and Hiroshima Carp are battling it out for a chance to play in Yokohama, as they each have three games remaining as of the recording of this video. The Giants started the season with a 20-9 record, but really fell off during the summer until finally picking it up back again in September to take this one-game lead over both the Tigers and the Carp. After their late season collapse in 2021 almost saw them missing the postseason, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Yomiuri not to choke. Now the Tigers are in almost a completely opposite position as they began the year with a 4-20 record until getting hot during the summer months to climb all the way back and then once again crumbling here in the final few weeks. They had a 4 game lead over the Giants on September 1st so while their comeback from the cellar is already something to admire, it would be quite disappointing if they weren't able to finish the job. And then the Carp have just sort of been hovering around this position between 3rd place and 5th place all year. They didn't have high expectations quite like the Giants or Tigers before the season, but now that they're here, they obviously want to get in. And if they don't, well then they have nobody to blame but themselves because they finished dead last in MPB during interleague play back in June, and if they had just won a few more games there, it would have been enough to push them over the edge. And then the PL race is absolutely insane because no team has even clinched a playoff spot yet. The Softbank Hawks and Oryx Buffaloes are tied for first, but the Hawks have four games in hand, and the Cebu Lions lead the Rakuten Eagles by half a game for the last playoff spot, but the Eagles have three games in hand. The Hawks missed the postseason in 2021 for the first time in almost a decade, so they're really going to want to secure that top spot and get back in, especially when it looked like they had it in the bag for so long. 
The Buffaloes, meanwhile, won the pennant for the first time in a quarter of a century in 2021, and they had a bit of a slow start this year, but what a story it could be if they have this strong second half and repeat as champions. Now, the Lions have significantly overperformed expectations. Few people predicted they would be any better than fourth place, but they've been very competitive all season long and even sat at the top of the standings for a good while. But a very poor September so far has put them in a bit of a dire situation here as they try to fend off the Eagles, who were at 1.24 and 6. If the Eagles miss the playoffs after such a big lead out the gate, they're really going to be kicking themselves, much like the Giants. Another thing to watch for is the Central League Rookie of the Year award race. Taisei Ota of the Yomiuri Giants has quickly established himself as one of the best closers in the league, picking up 36 saves with a 1.96 ERA and a 26.4% strikeout rate. And at one point it did look as though he had the award on lockdown, but other debutants like Atsuki Yuasa of the Tigers and Hiroto Takahashi of the Dragons have really made a strong case for themselves these past few months. Yuasa is tied for the league lead and holds with 42 and has a 1.15 ERA and a 29.7% K rate. And Takahashi has simply been one of the best pitchers in all of Japan period, as the 20 year old has posted a 2.26 ERA with a 30.2% strikeout rate, which is second in MPB for pitchers with at least 110 innings behind only Roki Sasaki. Now the all-time MPB saves record for a rookie is 37 by Yasuaki Yamasaki of the Bay Stars in 2015 and Roji Kuribayashi of the Carp last year. So if Taisei can record just a couple more saves in these final games, he will make history and in turn strengthen his case for the rookie of the year. But there's no doubt that in terms of the pure stats, Yuasa and Takahashi have been much more impressive. The Pacific League race is also very tight between guys like Tomohisa Ozeki, Tatsuru Yanagimachi, and Isami Nomura of the Hawks, Yoshinobu Mizukami of the Lions, and Daigo Kamikawabata of the Fighters, but I feel like there isn't as much those youngsters can do to strengthen their case in the final week. For them, it's mostly going to just come down to where the voters' hearts are at. And the last main thing I'm going to be watching for is the Pacific League RBI title race. Just three ribbies separate Masataka Yoshida of the Buffaloes, Hotaka Yamakawa of the Lions, and Hideto Asamura of the Eagles at the moment, as Yoshida has 87, Yamakawa has 86, and Asamura has 84 runs batted in. And when you consider that these guys are all in the midst of a heated pennant race that we just talked about, it just makes things even more meaningful. For the better part of the year, Yamakawa had a pretty big lead here, but he's cooled down this month while Yoshida and Asamura have just been on fire, especially Yoshida as he has an OPS over 1300 in September with over 20 RBIs. Alright, so there's obviously plenty more to watch for, but that's all the time I have for today, so I hope you enjoy the final week of games. Special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Peng. Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Ua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Shar Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garavay, Yuki Summerine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi Kim, J1, Tom Musa, Mike Braun, Lucas Bora, Stu22, Alex Irish, Marty Mercari, PB Cow98, Tokyo Kyojin Fan, Dave Hackerson, Brainlet Wojak, and Riku. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.